Hi, I'm Audrey and I am a freshman at the University of Alabama and live in John England Junior Hall. So I'm on the second floor and this is a tour of my dorm. Okay, so this is our door for our room and the decorations are from my sorority initiation for my big. And then we're official mistletoe testers. And then we have a whiteboard. <laughs> and then our departure for break. It's currently right after Thanksgiving break, the two weeks after. And then little decorations for me and my roommate, Adrian. And then to get into the door, you just scan your phone. Then once you're inside, on the right, we have two hooks for bags. And then two more down here. So I put my purses on this one and then my roommate has the two right ones. And then on the back of our door, we don't have much right now. This is what comes on the back, just emergency stuff. And then a picture of me and my roommate. And then there's a light switch. And then we have a whole bunch of storage. There's way more storage than you need. A lot of it, we don't even have filled up right now because my roommate took a bunch of her stuff home but we have so much. And then down here, we just have little drawers. One thing I recommend having is an umbrella. And then I have a backpack cover so that my laptop's usually in my backpack and that it does not get wet when it rains. And then over here, we have our Keurig, which is really nice, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, hand sanitizer, and then we put up each of these hooks. This one's like a two odd one. So those don't come with it, but we put it up. And then there's a lot of outlets in this room. There's ones here, over there. The only place there isn't outlets is in the restroom. And then there's a huge mirror and a light above it on the sink. And then there's four drawers down here. I have this one and the bottom one. So this is mine. They're pretty deep. And then and here I have all my hair tools. And then we have a lot of space underneath the sink. Which is all here. Cleaning supplies, plastic bags for the trash can, Swiffer, that's come in handy. Band-aids. And then over here, we have a whiteboard that we put up which I really like to, we, we have these planners, but we haven't used them once the whole year and it's now December. And then we just write little messages and have pictures of us. So it's nice to have. And then right here's the restroom and the light for the bathroom is actually outside. So you have to turn it on out here. And I mean, I guess if you want to play a trick on your roommate, you could turn it off while they're in there, something. And then in here, we have storage all up above the toilet. And this is my side, and then this side's my roommate's. And we just keep stuff in there and then have towels, toilet paper. And then over here, there's hooks for your towels. There's four. And then there's the Swiffer we have and the toilet. And then we have a little rug, the floor. And then we have a curtain on here, but the room actually comes with a shower liner, but we put a new fresh one in and just put the old one under the sink and then got clips from Walmart that were just there and then brought our own shower curtain. And then this is the inside of the shower, our head. There's like a little bump here, so you can't put anything over the shower head, but you could like put something on here if you wanted and got it like and then there's little places for your shampoo and conditioner i have this one and the one over here and then my roommate has the other two and it's a pretty decent sized shower which is nice and then on the back of the door there's a hook that you can use so i just have my robe on it i definitely recommend though if you're living in here and have a rug in your room to get a small vacuum because one thing that we've had the swiffer isn't enough like you always have to wear shoes in the room because the floor gets dirty easily because that's where you are at all times 
So then over here, an overview of our room, my roommate Adrian's studying. So we have a big full length mirror right next to the bathroom. And then right here is the thermostat, which is really nice to have your own in your room. <laughs> you can change it, another light switch. And then these are our closets. So we have them right next to each other. And then all up above our closets is a whole bunch of storage space. So I have like my bins for when I'm going back home and put all my clothes in. And then other bags and more shoes. I have too many shoes. And then this is the closet. So I have all of my clothes on this side. And then a whole bunch of shoes on the floor of in here. One thing I really recommend is a good pair of rain boots because it rains or gets muddy a lot and you're walking to class. And then another thing is slippers. I have the Ugg ones and they're just really nice to have. And then over here, I have all my dresses and then I have more shoes and like a shoe caddy. And then I have a laundry bin and then a bag. So what I do is I separate my towels and put them in here. And then I have my clothes in this one, which makes it a lot easier to do laundry. And then I have one of these little jewelry hangers and I put all my necklaces on it here. And then I have my earrings over here. And it really helps for when I'm going back home because I can, I just have everything there and I usually will just tape them down and fold it up and bring it with me back home. So that's the closet. And then we had rods up above that we just put in and then put the curtains on. So then coming over here, this is my side. And then my roommate is over here studying. That's her side. Being a studious mechanical engineering major, I'm the one <laughs> videoing. And then we have room over here for storage. We have, we're both in a sorority, so we have swaps and date parties. So before, for graduation, my mom bought me a huge bag of just costumes that I have here, which is really nice. And then I have paper, white paper for all of my homework or just working out problems for calculus and engineering. And then we have a whole bunch of space over on this side and we have all of our straws, cups, and they go really far deep back. It's like over here, it goes way on this side. And then we have paper plates, water bottles, zero, snacks, a whole bunch of Cheez-Its. And then this one here, and then it goes even further back there if you really wanted to put stuff back there. And then we have hot chocolate and there's space to put anything up here in a plug. And then there's more plugs up here that you can have a TV if you want. We actually had one at the beginning of the year but never used it because when we weren't studying, we were out doing something, we weren't watching TV. And then we have a microwave and then a fridge freezer combo, which is really nice and it's pretty spacious. Like we have a whole bunch of room in the freezer and then we have the fridge. And then for here, so this is my desk area. So I'm an 80 pie, I have all 80 pie stuff. And then it's the desk. And I just have like a little trash bag behind there. There's a little rod across that you could put on. And there's a chair. And my 80 pie bag and backpack with a whole bunch of pins and I have more pins where that came from and then just there's a whole bunch of outlets and there's even ones for your iPhone there's four there and there's four like plugs so that's really nice and then I have all my stuff here I have my makeup and other things and then stapler tape thing up here and then I love photos so I just have a whole bunch of photos of my family and friends and my calendar and more photos and of course my mask and then a candle I never really light because we've already set off the fire alarm in our room once <laughs> and then we have 
that's about it. Call my friend back home. And then in here we have just a drawer that you can actually lock. If you bring um, a lock with you, you can lock it up. And then I just have these little dividers that I brought with me from home. And then there's these cubby spots that go far back that I just have my schoolwork in. And then this is my decorations above my bed. And then this is also from initiation from my big. And then me and my roommate, we both got monograms done from Etsy. So we had them made with our initials. And then I got them just in wood and then spray painted them in gold back home so they'd be the same gold. And then we had it to where it matched our um, lamp that we made. So I spray painted this gold also and then put this ribbon around it. Then we have an alarm clock, a little stuff in here. This is my side and this is my roommate's. And we have a whole bunch of outlets, but then my roommate also brought an extension cord. So that's really nice. We have all these outlets. And behind the bed, there's actually um, two more outlets and then two spots for phone chargers, USB spots. And then this is my bed, blankets pillows we got matching comforters or duvet covers and then underneath the bed there's a whole bunch of drawer dressers two and then looking in we have one down here they're pretty deep this is where I keep my winter stuff but most of it I have back home already and they go far back and they fit a bunch so I have basically my whole closet here and then just my stuff. And then this is our window. We're facing lakeside dining. So I thought that we'd be able to see, you can kind of see the lake, but since we're on the girls' side, it's more facing the dining hall. And we actually learned that most of the action goes on in front of Patey. <laughs> so that's the room. Yeah, if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's the John England Dorn Tour. <laughs>